You a pirate. Pride, tradition, passion. Be proud of who you are and what you are. You a pirate. When they face adversity, plant their feet, take a brace, hit them right in the jaw, and say, bring it on. Won't some get some. ECU Athletics and U.S. Cellular present the Ruffin McNeil Show. Brought to you by U.S. Cellular, the official wireless provider of the ECU Pirates. And now, the voice of the Pirates, Jeff Charles. Welcome to the Ruffin McNeil Show. Coming up on the show today, we'll have highlights from the Virginia Tech game. Also, the new look, Damon Magazoo. He's been a stalwart of that Pirate defense, as we all know, for four years. We'll take an up-close-and-personal look. Camp Connors will drop by. Jeff Connors, strength and conditioning coach at ECU. His subject this week, Isaiah Jones, who comes from great lineage. As we all know, he's the son of Robert Jones. And a look ahead to next week. No game, but we'll have an open date look as well. Hang in there with us. Ruff comes back and joins me right after this. The Ruff and McNeil Show is brought to you by U.S. Cellular. Download the Mascot and Me app for iPhone and Android from U.S. Cellular to get your picture with Petey. U.S. Cellular. Hello, better. Hey, I'm Bruce from His Wireless Company. He could have switched to U.S. Cellular and been rewarded with a new phone faster, but why do that when you can just make your old phone feel new again? <laughs> Happy birthday, honey. Dad, this is my old phone. No, it is not. It's got that new phone smell. Smell it. Smell it. I did. It smells like lies. It smells good to me. U.S. Cellular believes you deserve better. With reward points to get you new phones faster. U.S. Cellular. Hello better. Customer Aaron Swenson bought from us online today. So I'm happy. Sales go up, I'm happy. It went out today, I'm happy. What if she's not at home? She, she won't, won't be, be happy. happy. Use UPS. She can get a text alert, reroute, even reschedule a package. It's UPS my choice. You happy? I'm happy. I'm happy. I'm happy. I'm happy. I'm happy. 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 I love logistics. North Carolina's leader in distance education, a degree from an established university, an opportunity for a brighter future, a real option for adult learners. East Carolina University. The Ruffin McNeil Show, presented by U.S. Cellular, continues with sponsorship by BB&T, sharing knowledge for a brighter direction. Welcome to the Ruff and McNeil Show. The Pirates play their hearts out, come up just a little bit on the short end, 15 to 10 to Virginia Tech. But, Ruff, I know how proud you are of these guys. Well, I thought we played hard, Jeff. I, I don't think I know. Um, came up on a short end today, but I was proud of the effort. The kids never quit. We knew we were facing a pretty good football team. You and I talked about it earlier. Uh, I, I think this team will contend for a championship over there in ACC, their, their league, their division. Um, there were some opportunities that we left on the yeah. field I know wish we could have back. But I was proud of the effort. I thought defensively we did some things. They made complete some plays, but we rose up time and time again to stop and give us opportunities. And uh, I'm proud of that group. The special teams did a good job. I know offensively they, they felt like they probably left some things out on the, on the field. And but we'll figure it out and watch film, and, and we'll get better. We'll coach it up better, and we'll play better. Well, if I know when you play Virginia Tech, you have to match them physically, don't you? And I thought you guys did a great job with that. I thought we did. I didn't. I didn't feel we outmatched a bit, uh, uh, speed-wise, size-wise. I thought we uh, matched up well, and even going to the game, I just I knew we were facing a good team, but I thought I, I know we have a good team too, um, and I, I felt like we could uh, do some things on all three sides of the ball. Let's go now to those first half highlights. 75 degrees at kickoff time, 50,096. Another sellout at Dowdy Pickland Stadium Bagwell Field. The Hokies in town, and 
Ruff, what a great start for your football team. I mean, you take the ball right down the field and score, and we see Cooper go over the left end. You get him started early on an 11-yard run. Well, I felt good about that drive. You know, uh, uh, great execution on offense, great job up front. Uh, I thought uh, great drive. And then uh, Cooper catches this ball. This one goes for 24 yards. You're utilizing him so well out of the backfield. I'll tell you, that's the thing about Coop. He can run it, has great hands, and, and then get him in open field, uh, the open field, he's able to get, get us extra yardage. And then the Pirates take the ball right down the field, first down and 10 at the 22-yard line, and then Carden hits Bryce Williams, his first touchdown reception as a Pirate, and right down the field in less than two minutes, and the Pirates are up 7-0. Well, it was a great call and great execution here. Shane to Bryce, and great job by Bryce, uh, extra effort getting in the end zone. See, Virginia Tech now come back with the ball, second down and 10, and this is a pass complete from Thomas to Byrne. This one goes uh, for 12 yards, and then it sets up a touchdown pass as Thomas will hit Knowles here for 30 yards in the touchdown, and the Hokies come right back with a score of their own. Yeah, I mean, they've, they've, uh, they've changed their offense, I thought, from the first game, Alabama to Western Carolina, and more of what Logan feels he can do, and that was a great toss by those guys. 7-7 ball game. Pirates get the ball back on the next possession, and then Faison steps in, and he makes this interception here, Coach, on a third and five. Oh, yeah. That was a tough play. Uh, and, uh, wish you could have that one back. And then a Pirate defense, which played so well all day long, especially against the run. Mangus, the young man from Broughton High School in Raleigh, loss of a yard on this play. Zeke Bigger played great, as you know, Coach, a week ago Thursday, nine tackles against Florida Atlantic. Comes up with a big tackle here behind the line of scrimmage. Oh, Zeke's a good football player. Those two kids uh, worked hard. He and Brandon all week preparing. and uh, start, Starting did not bother them a bit. We move now into the second quarter of play, a second down and 10 situation, and Edmonds rushes for one yard over left tackle. And again, uh, guys all over the field, Coach, defensively. We want to show these plays this week. Terrell Stanley, I thought, played a great game. He makes a tackle here. I'll tell you what, they've done a good job. Our defensive line, linebackers, really whole entire defensive gap integrity, run to the football, doing a good job swarming, making plays. And then, Coach, on a third down and nine, this was one for the highlight tape as Adonis Armstrong makes a great athletic play on this interception. Adonis has had a great year, great week, a great week of practice, and he gave up one early and felt bad about it, but came back, redeemed himself, great interception. And the Pirates come back with the ball offensively. Justin Hardy gets uh, this pass completion for eight yards, and there was no question the Hokies knew where number two was all day long. Yeah, they, they, they assigned extra men to him, and they did a good job, and he, he caught some balls there late and, and doing the game, but Bud did a good job on defense. Yeah, Shane Carden then throws this one complete to Ventavious Cooper. This one goes for 11 yards. Pirates getting their offense cranked up just a bit. Carden throws this one complete also to Danny Webster for eight yards, but the drive stalls, and then Virginia Tech takes over the football again, and we see their biggest uh, run of the day, Ruff. This was uh, Trey Edmonds. He goes for 13 yards, but you did such a great job on this guy. This is a guy that ran for 132 yards against Alabama, and you kept him in check all day. Yeah, you know, he's a, a kid with great speed, and uh, uh, we saw him break that, and off, break that one off versus Alabama. I was proud of our defense. Again, good job of tackling, good job of doing their job today on the run game. And at halftime, it's a 7-7 ball game. We'll be right back with more of the Ruffin McNeil Show, presented by U.S. Cellular and sponsored by Suddenlink. Bundle and save with Suddenlink. Call 1-877-807-3806 today. Customer Aaron Swenson bought from us online today. So I'm happy. Sales go up, I'm happy. It went out today, I'm happy. What if she's not at home? She, she won't, won't be, be happy. happy. Use UPS. She can get a text alert, reroute, even reschedule a package. It's UPS my choice. You happy? I'm happy. I'm happy. I'm happy. I'm happy. I'm happy. 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 I love logistics. 
time to switch to Suddenlink is now. Get our best package with HDTV, internet, and home phone for just $30 per service monthly when you bundle. This package also includes TiVo Any Room DVR service on up to three TVs for $19 a month and your choice of an internet speed upgrade or Wi-Fi for only $10 a month, all with no contracts. Get TV, internet, and home phone for $30 each when you bundle. Switch now. Call 877-478-7860. Order Suddenlink today. How do you measure the value of a college education? What are the values that give it worth? The rigorous pursuit of knowledge. The drive to innovate. The commitment to improving communities. And the courage to stand up and lead the way into a brighter tomorrow. These are the values of an East Carolina education. Come discover their true worth for yourself. East Carolina University. Tomorrow starts here. I promise. And it's just a little pinch. Come on, get it together, please. East Carolina's Petey the Pirate is ready for the Capital One mascot challenge. Are you? Go to CapitalOneBowl.com to vote today. Welcome back to the Ruffin McNeil Show. And, Coach, you go into the second half, 7-7 seven, seven ball game. I know you're trying to get the offense untracked here in the second half. Yeah, we felt good about position. You know, we felt we could have uh, probably put one more in there before half, mm -hmm. uh, at least got a field goal out of there. But yeah. we felt, and I know Lincoln feels, you know, they could have done some things there in the first half. But, so we halftime we thought we made some pretty good adjustments. They did a good job uh, defensively. I thought we did a good job. I think we held them to, what, six points, I think, in the second half. Mm -hmm. I, I, I can't remember uh, the final score. But, uh, I was proud of our group. Let's now roll those second half highlights. Coach, we start the second half and uh, important to get points on the board. 7-7 and then Warren Harvey comes in and kicks a 44-yard field goal. It was good to get some points on the board. You know, we, we didn't want to end that drive without points. Uh, Warren, is, I, I, I mentioned before, I got a lot of confidence in Warren. He's an established uh, uh, specialist, and I think he's one of the best in the conference. No doubt about it. And then again, we turn the ball back over to uh, Virginia Tech. You see your defense just continues to play well. And really at the post-game uh, interview after the game on the radio network, we couldn't give uh, the defensive player of the game to anybody in particular because so many guys played so well for you on defense. Well, I agree. I thought they played uh, great 11-man football, J.C. I thought they uh, did a good job of, of doing their job, responsibility, especially forcing the run. Uh, controlling the run and uh, affecting the quarterback. He did complete some some third downs, but I, I was really proud of those guys for uh, doing a good job, of, and it sounds simple, but doing their job, especially up front. Yeah, Terrell Stanley up front, I thought, played a terrific game. Lee Pegues played well. Terry Williams played well. I mean, everybody played great, didn't they? They all did. Mark's doing a good job. Coach Yellock of rotating those guys in, and uh, he's got some guys he use in special situations, but those guys really rotate and stay fresh. Uh, I thought the linebacker Zeke and Brandon benefited from the up front uh, control of their offensive Line. Terrific against the run. Logan Thomas uh, was 21 to 35 rough for the game, and you have to give him credit. He made some good throws on third down to keep the uh, plays alive. No, he did. I, I was asked about Logan if somebody was talking about his low percentage before our game. I've always had a lot of respect for Logan. I think he's a, a guy who's worked on his craft. I know this summer he he worked hard at um, going to quarterback camps and those kind of type of things. And I watched him on film. Really carries himself well. Has a great presence. Uh, and, uh, you know, we knew he'd be tough to handle. But he, he did make some nice throws. Yeah, he really did. Cody Drenell, the place kicker for Virginia Tech, continued to, to miss. He missed two field goal attempts, missed an extra point, and it gave you an opportunity to stay in the game. I, I'm proud of our, our special team and our defense there, too. They did a good job of, of uh, again, affecting the kicker. And I was very proud of them. Usually that's a takeoff play for most teams or uh, a, a, a lazy play for most teams, but not for this group. They, This group, if you sit back and count the numbers, they've affected a lot of kicks the last few years. Shane Carden uh, was under heavy pressure much of the day, wasn't he, Coach? Yeah, he was. You know, they put a lot of pressure on Shane uh, today, and, and uh, I'm sure Shane would learn from it, but they did a good job of, of uh, uh, bringing some different things that Shane we have seen, but I was proud of the uh, – after the game, you know, they all were, they were hurt, but uh, Shane will bounce back. And then how about the defensive stand by your defense, fourth and one at the 10-yard line, and you're able to get the ball back for your offense. The guys just came up and played great. Well, you know what? That was a big, another big turning point, I thought. A uh, uh, statement, uh, statement drive and down by our defense. Did a good job, got a penalty for roughing the, 
uh, uh, running to the kicker with, uh, I thought with, it tipped the ball, it had tipped it, and then uh, then he gets the fourth and one, they got to stop him, and they did. So, very proud of the defense, and he gave us a chance. Yeah, gave us a chance, and the uh, Pirates get the ball back, and then uh, Shane Carden gets the safety in the end zone on a couple of plays. Uh, again, they were bringing some heavy heat. Yeah, they brought the heat, and I thought uh, Shane may have been going forward, so I challenged it, but, uh, you know, it wasn't, wasn't going to need me to take time, timeouts home. So, uh, I thought I saw his arm coming forward, but they uh, did not overturn it. And 15 to 10, final score of Virginia Tech wins it over East Carolina. Ruff and McNeil shaking hands with Frank Beamer. A lot of mutual respect here. Virginia Tech gets the safety late, and it's a 15 to 10 game at the end of the ball game. But again, Ruff, uh, this was a story of they made uh, some mistakes with their special teams, and you just have to take advantage of that sometimes too, don't you? Yeah, I thought we forced those mistakes, uh, especially on the field goals. Uh, we've done a good job of that really uh, since last year. That yeah. that that. That's a sign of uh, effort by your defense. Mostly we give up on extra points and mm -hmm. field goals. Our defense doesn't. We, we uh, affected those three, those three field goal misses. I, we had no doubt about that. Right. And uh, uh, so we uh, and held up good on fourth down, oh, yeah. I mean, you know, after that. You know, so I, I, you know, it's, we got to take advantage of those opportunities. We talk about giving our offense extra possessions mm -hmm. uh, and uh, usually two to three, we're good. Mm -hmm. And we did that today defensively. We'll be back and we'll have more with Ruff right after this timeout. miles of road and they can take you just about anywhere and with nationwide insurance the number one insurance provider in North Carolina you'll be protected on all of them so whether you find yourself on the Blue Ridge Parkway or cruising along the Beltline nationwide insurance has you covered nationwide is on your side for a free quote call your local nationwide insurance agent Elliot Cowie in New Bern or Tommy Davis in Windsor I'm Bruce from their wireless company. They can get reception where they need it with U.S. Cellular, but why miss a chance to get closer with your neighbors? Phyllis, call the sheriff. Signal searching varmints, get your own reception. All right, see you tomorrow, everybody. U.S. Cellular believes you deserve better with national coverage where and when you need it. U.S. Cellular, hello better. The National Football Foundation's William Campbell Trophy is presented to the nation's outstanding college football scholar athlete. It represents a comprehensive understanding of what excellence is. It recognizes success in more than just one area. The National Football Foundation's William Campbell Trophy is awarded for achievement in the community, in the classroom, and on the gridiron. It's not only about football, it's about individuals, the human experience, and all of us trying to be successful. This is the spot where 50 years ago, Pirates came together to build a stadium. Where 50,000 screaming fans cheer their team to victory. Where cannons roar to mark each score. You can paint this one purple. Where Pirate football lives on. This is the spot you need to be this fall. Dowdy Ficklin Stadium. For tickets, visit ecupirates.com. The Ruffin McNeil Show, presented by U.S. Cellular, continues with sponsorship by BB&T, sharing knowledge for a brighter direction. Everybody who's followed Pirate football knows who number 11 is, Damon Magazoo. And Coach, uh, all these years for the four years, you call him a CK coach's kid. He's a coach's kid. Mags uh, is a coach on the field. He understands it, understands concepts, great teammate, hard worker. Uh, extremely intelligent so uh he is a ck coach's kid <laughs> he's also a senior from charlotte we're really going to miss him around here next year he's damon magazine 
They're about ready to bring the house down here. The Pirate fans on their feet on third down and 12. Wilson stops, has time, looks in the end zone. It's picked up! Seems like just yesterday, a freshman named Damon Magazoo made one of the most memorable plays in Pirate history. His interception sealed the deal in an overtime win against the Wolfpack. Fast forward three years, and that wide-eyed kid is now a confident senior who leads the Pirate D. He's made at least one tackle in 32 straight games, recording 80 in each of the last two seasons. He, like most seniors, wonders where the time went. Uh, it goes by fast, and you know, the same thing happened in high school when you're a freshman, the seniors stand up and always say, you know, enjoy it because it goes by fast, and you think, oh, you know, that is, that's not true, but then you get your senior year and it goes by fast, and the same thing happens in college. Uh, my freshman year, the seniors stood up and said, enjoy it, it goes by fast, and now it's already here. So, you know, it does go by fast. Uh, there's a lot of great memories, and uh, hopefully there's a lot great, more great memories to come. Magazoo is what Coach Ruff calls a CK, a coach's kid. Damon's father is NFL assistant Dave Magazoo. Dave has more than 30 years of coaching experience, the last three as the offensive line coach for the Denver Broncos. He was the Carolina Panthers O-line coach while Damon attended high school in Charlotte. Oh, you know, Damon is the son of an NFL coach, and uh, I'm actually the son of a football coach myself, so growing up around football, uh, I think that you gain a lot of instinct and insight toward the game, and I think that's what's going on with Damon. Uh, he understands the game, he understands how to be a leader in the back end, he understands everyone's responsibilities, he can get everyone lined up. Uh, I've learned a lot from my dad, uh, not only just being his son, but being uh, his player as well. Uh, you know, after the games in high school and college, he'd give me both renditions, you know, the father side and the coaching side. So uh, just being around it my whole life, you pick up little things, uh, whether he thinks I'm paying attention or not. So I've learned a lot from him. Every uh, time we're in the hotels, uh, he, calls, he calls everyone in his family, his dad, mom, brother. And uh, his dad, he, he talks to his dad a lot. His dad gave him some, um, some um, handouts he, that he got eliminated that tell him how to be a leader and tell him how to play the next play. It's, it's, they have a great relationship. Put your hands together now. Family loyalty is something Magazoo wears on his sleeve. It's pretty clear the Pirate Nation is now his extended family. I don't think there's any question he's a pirate for life because he's got plenty of tattoos that indicate that. And I don't think his dad's real happy about all his tattoos, so I think he uh, hides some of them. But uh, uh, there's no question about his, his sense of loyalty and allegiance to the pirate program. I think he's fully bought in for life. I'd rather just not be remembered for one play out of an entire career. I'd rather be you know, remembered for an impact player and uh, a great leader that hopefully uh, you know, brought the whole uh, program moving forward and uh, someone that impacted my entire team, not only on the field, but off. Five, four, three, two, one. Today we're with Isaiah Jones. Uh, Isaiah is the son of Robert Jones. Uh, former ECU Pirate, Super Bowl champion, and first round draft choice. We're really happy to have Isaiah in the program now because we know that Robert's gonna come back for more games. Uh, also, uh, you know you've been around for a couple minutes when you coach someone and then coach their son, so hopefully I'm a little bit more well-read now and I can offer more to Isaiah to optimize his performance. Uh, today, what we're gonna do is, uh, we're gonna give you some variations of the glute bridge. Uh, one of the things that we do in our corrective strategies assessment when our new athletes come in is we test their glute strength. And one of the ways we do that is with the glute bridge. So we're going to show you that right now. Basically what we're going to do is we're going to bridge up on one leg and try to hold that position. And uh, stay nice and stable here with the hips for about a 10 second count. Yeah, Isaiah's doing very well there. All right, good job. Uh, this is somewhat of a unique exercise, uh, somewhat new on the horizon. It's known as a hip thrust. and We're really trying to isolate the glutes more now, and we're using what we call a Hampton pad. Uh, let's go ahead and hit about three or four reps here, Isaiah. Set the hips up, pause, back down. That's it, push through the floor, pause, good. One more time. All right, great job. Anybody who's been watching our games this year knows that Isaiah's been activated and he's doing a great job. When he came in this summer, he showed some very strong leadership qualities and I'm very excited about him and his class for the future. Camp Connors is brought to you by these local nationwide agents. 
North Carolina has thousands of miles of road, and they can take you just about anywhere. And with Nationwide Insurance, the number one insurance provider in North Carolina, you'll be protected on all of them. So whether you find yourself on the Blue Ridge Parkway or cruising along the Beltline, Nationwide Insurance has you covered. Nationwide is on your side. For a free quote, call your local Nationwide Insurance agent, Rob Jones in Dunn or Ramey Styans in Greenville. Weather vanes are one of the oldest methods of weather prediction. While there are a multitude of designs, the most sensitive weather vane is this rather unattractive dish shape. It detects rain, sleet, snow, even wind. You know it's working because when the bad weather comes in, your TV signal goes out. Quite ingenious. Outdated satellite technology is no match for clear, reliable TV from Suddenlink. Each year, fans choose these few physicians more than 400,000 times for specialty and family medicine. They got me back to a winning weight. They fixed my heart valve. He deserves doctors and specialists that are trained just for children. You can trust ECU physicians too, because they're the same experts who train the doctors at the Brody School of Medicine and make up the largest, most comprehensive medical practice in the region. That's smart medicine. medicine. ECU physicians, smart medicine. North Carolina's leader in distance education, a degree from an established university, an opportunity for a brighter future, a real option for adult learners. East Carolina University. This week's Look Ahead is brought to you by the Eye Care Center, eye doctors focused on you and the official eye care provider of the Pirates. Welcome back to the show. Pirates will not play on Saturday, an open date week, and then over to Chapel Hill to take on North Carolina. And uh, rough and open date week coming up. What's the routine going to be like? Well, it's needed, I think. We'll get a chance to heal some nicks and bruises. Uh, we have a normal Sunday uh, where we'll get our work done and grade this film and, and uh, evaluate it and then get it behind us. Monday's the day off, NCAA-wise, and we'll work Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. Coaches will be on the road Thursday night, Friday, uh, coming back in Saturday, and then next Sunday we'll get back into game week. Okay, Coach, great effort by your football team. We'll see you next week. Thanks, Jeff. Love you, brother. In fact, the Pirates uh, will not play next week, as we mentioned, but we will have a show here on the Open Date Week, so join us next week for the Ruff and McNeil Show. Have a great week, everybody. The Ruff and McNeil Show has been presented by U.S. Cellular. Hello, better. The Ruff and McNeil Show is an exclusive presentation of IMG, America's home for college sports.